All right, 625 now. Holly Maynard is live at RIT this morning where they yeah. design video games. And, and they're so good at it. Holly, at the beginning of the broadcast when they were playing that pinball machine, I'm like, oh, look, an oldie but goodie. And yeah. it's, on, it's on camera or it's on the, uh, on the screen. Right, right, the, the pinball one that we showed uh -oh, earlier. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I know, I'm trying, You're I'm hooked. playing Sella right now. Sella, am I winning or you losing? You are in the lead right now. I'm in the lead, wow. Okay, what game is this, Sella? This is Need for Whoops. Speed Carbon for the Xbox 360. Need for Speed, okay, I've never done this before. Yeah, <laughs> Sella just passed me, as she said. Okay, um, what I want to know here, Jay, actually, you continue on, and I'll take the microphone. Um, what I want to know is when you guys are playing these games, you know, when I watch a newscast, I'm very critical of the newscast. I can't just sit back like an average viewer. Are you the same way when you play video games? You're always thinking of, of some critical things? We certainly are. Um, one thing that always comes to mind is, you know, what's going on in the background? If you notice something that's going wrong, why is it going wrong? And we have the understanding to, to know why things are happening. So we think about it all the time. Like in the art world, we critique it because we understand it. Right. And so uh, the, the students that were with this morning are all in the master's program for the game design and development program here at RIT. Uh, a lot of people at home may not even realize that you could get your degree in that here. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to do with this degree when you leave, Sela? Ideally, I'd like to do some sound work for a company. Um, mm -hmm. I have a programming background as well, so I would love to be able to do both. Mm -hmm. I'd like to work for a small company and really touch into all of my different uh, backgrounds and options. Okay, so Jay, when we're watching this video game here that now you two are playing, would you be able to, at this point, design something like this or work on the team that would design something like this? I wouldn't be able to design, de to design something like this on my own, but I would, could definitely work as part of the team. Games of this quality are usually made with teams, uh, with big teams of people, and so I could definitely be part of that team. Steve Jacobs teaches uh, a lot of the students here at RIT. Steve, what do you tell the apprehensive parents when they take the tours here at RIT? Because some of them are really worried when their students or their children decide to major in this field. Well, it is a competitive field, so that's a concern. Um, so students, it's, it's not quite as competitive as med school and being a doctor, but it's pretty close mm -hmm. because it's a small number of people overall yeah. in the industry comparatively. But doing this kind of programming work is pretty much the hardest kind of programming you can do. So students who change their minds about being in the game industry or uh, don't get a job specifically in the game industry, can be working in scientific visualization or they can be working in other high intensity computing fields. No one has a problem getting a job after they get out of here. So bottom line is they'll be just fine. Yep. Uh, coming up next half hour, hey Doug and Norma, we were gonna talk about the We Fit right now. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. talk about that later on because um, technical problems, which always happens in the technical world, right? Uh, but coming up next half hour, the future of the video gaming industry. What can we look forward to when we go to uh, some of those stores out there, perhaps next Christmas? All right. I can't really believe more realistic. Thank you, Norma.